Well, hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Steve Douglas. Uh, if you're new here, I make videos on how I lost weight and what I cook to uh, continue to lose my weight and be healthy. So with that being said, uh, for you guys that knows me and been around a little while, I got to go do a little bit of fishing, crappie fishing recently. Uh, so that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to make a, a baked crappie dish uh, with some vegetables. So hang tight. Let's get started. They're all over the bottom now. I see it. Oh, there's another one. That was not a keeper. This one might be. Oh, this one here is bigger. Yeah, most definitely. Comes right here, like I found a boat. It's gonna be a nice one. Oh, yeah, he's a nice one. All right, I gotta bring him around the side. I don't know, he's hooked pretty good, I think. One, two, three, go. Whew. Yeah, he's a nice one. Another good one. All right. Get us a limit yet. All right, guys, this is I've just discovered this is why I don't clean fish, is now I've got to clean fish. So I've, it was fun catching them, but now we got to clean them. It's been a minute since I've done this, but here we go. Ooh. We'll end up cutting that rib out of this a little later, but for uh, tonight's fiasco, we're going to just cut them off like that and go because we'll clean them up before we cook them. This is a big old pig right here. You need a bunch of them like this. This was sweet. Yeah, it's a nice fillet right there. Yeah, we're gonna put him here. Don't get confused. And we'll clean them up at home when we got more time and more daylight. And we're gonna put them in the fresh cooler. All right, that concludes our crappie fishing trip. It's been a minute since I did my last video, but we've been really busy around the shop. It's fishing season, so. Uh, but with that being said, I was able to go do a little fishing myself. We went crappie fishing for the first time in I don't know how long, but today uh, we are going to cook it. We caught it a couple days ago. We've been having it soaking in salt water for a couple days, but now we are going to um, cook our crappie. Uh, but first we're going to have some vegetables with it and what I'm going to cook along with it But I'm gonna start first is with the vegetables uh, is the old tried-and-true broccoli and uh, We are going to mix a little bit of cauliflower in there with it as well. So um, before we uh, Start cutting the fish on the cutting board uh, and transferring some salmonella somewhere. We're gonna cut um, We're gonna cut our vegetables first on a clean cutting board uh, so what we're going to do is just kind of, we're going to cut the uh, florets off of the broccoli. All right, we're going to steam these vegetables. So I'll put a little water in my pan here, just a little bit. We'll put it on the stove. We're going to kick it on high for right now. And get our old trusty steamer out. So we're going to put our broccoli in here and then we're going to put a few pieces of uh, cauliflower in it as well all right and like I say all these vegetables that I cook have some type of properties in it that is going to be beneficial to me and my health so that's why I want to 
put as much vegetables in, in my diet as I possibly can. Uh, and it's uh, low in calories. Now we're gonna go ahead and put it over in the steamer. Just like so, it's got a little water in it. We're gonna push it down in here. Now that's going, we are going to, uh, now what we're gonna do is cut some garlic. Butter garlic crappie is what we're gonna cook and we're gonna bake it. We want to chop our garlic up really fine. I'm going to take one half stick of butter and we're going to put it in the pan and, and try to get it melted real quick while we're cutting this. All right, now that we've got that nice and chopped, I'll throw this in here and kind of marinate the butter and the garlic. All right, I have already set my oven to 400 degrees. It's been preheating here for a minute. Let's put this back in the refrigerator. Now turn that down just a bit. Now we're going to work on the fish a little bit here. Now you're going to want a pan to put it in, but right now we've rinsed it all off and I'm going to try to dry everything and I want to make sure that there's no bones in it. And these crappie were big enough, we were able to fillet them a little bit, so. I don't want to dry it all off. Just kind of inspect if you do fillet it, just inspect it there and make sure all the bones are out of it. All the scales are gone. I cut my skin off of mine, so it should be good. All right, now what we want to do is a uh, cut our lemon. And before we dump it in the pan, we want to put a little squeeze a little lemon juice into this mix. Stir it around there a little bit. Now, I'll put a little butter into the pan here. Smear it around real good. Now we want to lay our crappie out. Gonna be awesome. All right. Now we're gonna take some paprika. And we're gonna douse it with some paprika. Make it red. And then we're gonna take the rest of this, mix it up real good, and we're just gonna get her juiced up in there. All right, try to get it all over. And we're gonna stick this in the oven. 
for about 15 minutes. The thicker the fillets, you may have to leave it in there a little bit longer, but uh, our fillets are not as thick right now. All right, now we want to test our uh, vegetables over here. They've been steaming for a little while. And let's see, they're not quite done here, but you got to watch your water as well. We want to add just a little bit more water. All right, guys, well, we wait on that just a little minute. I'm just going to share a few things on my weight loss uh, quest here. Uh, it's been a minute since I did a little video, but uh, I've kind of plateaued a little bit. I've I lost 90 pounds straight up. I'm kind of in that same general area. I've gained a little pound back. I've lost a couple more pounds, uh, but I'm staying in that, in that 220 to 215, 215, 216 range. Um, I'm not really dieting per se as I was as far as the calorie deficit uh, is concerned. I'm still eating properly and I'm eating the right amounts, but I realized I didn't lose um, any weight during that time, but I did notice that my clothes got bigger. So I didn't lose any weight, but my body, I guess, was still shrinking. I don't know how that works, but um, I kind of did a little research on it as a body reconformation something like that uh, but I wasn't losing weight but I did lose the inches still so if you find yourself in a plateau if you find yourself not losing weight anymore uh, continue to stay on your your plan that you've got your diet uh, and you may not notice the weight coming off but you'll notice you're losing inches still so your body is adjusting to uh, what you need um, you know, I've, I've been like this weight most of my life. I would like to get down around 200, 195. I'm going to try it, but um, I think I've done a pretty good feat just losing 90 pounds. So I'm kind of relaxed a little bit, I guess I want to say, on not trying to lose as much. But this, this whole thing is a psychological game. It, it does mess with you. Like I say, I haven't put a video out for quite some time because I... I continue to feel fat. I continue to um, feel like I'm letting people down. I haven't gained any weight back, um, but I haven't really lost any weight. But, you know, at a certain point, I'm not going to be able to lose any more weight. I just can't keep losing weight till I'm nothing. Uh, so I've got to pick a, a, a spot where I'm going to be comfortable with and, and try to maintain that. Right now, I'm doing, I'm doing fine. Uh, I have done some, a few fishing tournaments where I've had to go out and eat. Um, I still try to eat the right foods out there. Um, I have dabbled with a little bit of apple cobbler at one of those restaurants, but um, wasn't enough to, to, to make anything, but that's probably one of my first sugars in a long time. So, uh, But it is a, a type of psychological, um, uh, mental type aspect to losing weight as well. So. Don't give up, guys. It, it, if I can do it, anybody can do it. It takes a little bit of willpower. You can fall off the wagon a little bit uh, as long as you realize you need to get back on it and, and just don't completely stay off the wagon. Another thing that's kept me kind of off the videos as well, uh, it, must be, it must be the year of everybody losing weight because there's so many videos out there on TikTok now of people losing weight, large amounts of weight, and everybody's trying to give their two cents of how they lost weight. And I'm sure everybody loses weight the, differently. Um, one gentleman that I seen losing weight, um, and he lost uh, like 150 pounds, but he's still eating canned stuff. He's eating things that I still wouldn't eat yet, but um, he's still a young man. I'm an older fella, so I'm gonna eat the things that's gonna benefit me and try to keep me alive the longest I can. But there's so many contradicting um, ways of losing weight and I just kind of I kind of felt bad um, like what can I give anybody what what can I show anybody but here, here we are I mean I have lost the weight uh, I'm not an expert at anything I do not uh, claim to know um, how to lose weight I'm just I'm winging it and it seems to be working with my vegetables and portion control 
uh, in the calorie deficit. So like I say, guys, even if you're losing weight, I mean, I still look in the mirror and I still see that I'm fat and um, I, the scales don't say that I'm 310 pounds anymore. So um, I, I'm feeling pretty good about that. But like I say, you always have this mental thing um, since I've been big so long in my life. I mean, I, I just see myself as that. So anyway, guys, um, hopefully our stuff is getting done. Let me check it. You just want your vegetables. Check your vegetables. The, the steam is going to make them really, really soft. All right. Now we'll turn that off and let it sit. All right. We'll let a little bit of this steam out. We'll dump it right in there. All right. Where's my sea salt? All right. Now we got the vegetables done. We're going to let them um, steam a little bit. That also lets a little bit of the uh, moisture out of them. It's nothing worse than a lot of water on your vegetables. So. I put a little salt on there and then I'm going to put some uh, soy sauce and we're just going to toss it around. Now it's probably going to fall apart a little bit but it'll be fine. Alright, that one's going to be ready. Our fish is about done. what it looks like you just let that sit for a few minutes and then we will uh, plate it up all right there we go folks lemon butter garlic crappie All right, guys, that's it. That's my little fishing trip, crappie catch and cook. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, stay tuned for more videos on maintaining my health. And you guys, I'll bring you guys along with me to um, hopefully in some encouragement. And um, you can kind of watch my progress as we go. So um, thanks for stopping by and watching our videos. Until then, live healthy, my friends.